Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and today I'm going to be talking about everything that was patched, everything that was added in, kind of the changes that came to GTA Online with patch 1.15, and yes, it is true, all of the money glitches thus far have been tested, and basically everything that we had for patch 1.14 is no longer available in patch 1.15, so we usually always find a money glitch, and uh, I will definitely have that up for you guys as soon as we find it, but as of right now, we have no money glitches, we have no way to earn money super, super fast in GTA Online, but uh, basically I do... I do have some of those changes, excuse me, that uh, are coming to GTA Online and have already arrived in this update. And we have the patch notes, we have everything that they changed, and uh, we're going to go ahead and go about it and uh, talk about it, each and every one. So the seven new medium and low countryside apartments have been added to the Dynasty 8 website. Players are now able to ride on their own Leviathan roller coaster and the Ferris wheel on the Del Perro Pier. On call mode has been added to the quick job option and the phone. Basically, you can uh, go on your phone, call them up. I kind of talked about this in a, in a video that is either going to be going up before or after this. Uh, uh, but basically, you can call up on your phone and uh, queue up for a job, and as soon as the job is ready, you'll be put into it. You won't have to wait around at all. You can keep playing free room. Uh, players will now receive increased cash for completing a survival, bringing up the total amount that can be earned. A player's mental state will no longer increase when killing hostile mercenaries. Also, the increased rate for killing cops who are chasing the player as a result of being wanted has been reduced. Mental state will no longer increase for killing players who have a bounty on their head or for a player defending themselves when they have a bounty on them. Basically, if you have a bounty on you or you're killing someone has a bounty, your uh, your mental state will not be affected. Added the forced weapon option to Coronas for uh, versus and last team standing missions. Uh, the job entrance fees are now payable whenever starting a versus missions in order to bring it on. Uh, bring it into line with the LTS and capture missions head-to-head -head and create and challenge ranger is now taken from the player's wallet and bank rather than just their uh, Their wallet. Uh, I think that's what it was uh, just their wallet The time limit on team selection screen has been increased one minute And then these are these are where they kind of talked about the different bugs and exploits that they fixed fixed an exploit where players could spawn US UFOs in public sessions we talked about this a long long time ago It was pretty funny, but uh, they, they did eventually fix it and I know they did ban a couple people for spawning UFOs UFOs. Fixed various exploits where players were able to duplicate vehicles. Fixed an exploit where uh, players were able to respawn in their garages after committing suicide. Fixed an exploit where players could get in the barber services for free. Fixed an exploit that allowed players to go off radar. Fixed an exploit that allowed players to become invincible. And fixed an exploit where players were able to drive inside of their garages. So basically, everything that we needed, everything that we used to, <laughs> to do a money glitch, has been fixed and no longer is available in the session. And then they kind of talk about some of the different miscellaneous fixes, which are basically just like little changes that they did, little things that they did to uh, make glitching harder. Uh, bas basically, uh, all the little problems that they had in the game that weren't really exploits, but little bugs. I, I won't go through all of them. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you go want to go through and read the entire patch notes. I kind of skipped over the stuff that was added into the game that was like tangible, the different things that you could buy because uh, pretty much everyone already knows those. If you watched my video earlier, I covered every single thing that was in the update. You can check that out. I have a lot of videos up on my channel today about the Independence Day update, but I kind of wanted to talk about that and uh, let you guys know that as of right now, there are no money glitches and it's going to just be harder and harder and harder and I have, a, I have a very very good reason for why that is and a very good reason and very good uh, kind of theory on why Rockstar is doing all of the things that they're doing to make it harder and harder to earn money and uh, keeping keeping uh, releasing these super expensive DLCs. It's pretty easy to put together but uh, obviously I'm going to be covering that in a later video because it is pretty interesting what they're doing with their uh, DLCs and their prices and stuff like that. So anyway that was going to about wrap up this video. I just want to let you guys know as of right now there are no working money glitches and I will definitely be on that as soon as possible trying to get you guys the next money glitch so you can get all of those things before they go away after a limited time. So if you did enjoy this video be sure to leave a like on it let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of all this information let me know if you even do money glitches if you if you would like me to keep looking for them or not and if you do be sure to leave a like on the video and anyway guys my name is noj456 i will see you in the next one and goodbye